actors now face an existential threat against the use of AI in the film industry. It's considered the world's first AI ballet. Hey there everyone, welcome. I'm Jean, your trusted engineering mentor. And today we're diving into the question, will AI change our world forever? We're in a world where artificial intelligence may not just be a tool, but is starting to take over jobs, especially in the creative fields like actors, dancers, and artists. We saw the whole Hollywood go on strike and lawsuits between artists and the journey. But what does that mean for the tech industry and more specifically for software engineers? Can the changes happening in the creative industry be a sneak peek into the future of everyone, including software engineers? First, let's take a look at a performance, The Fusion Ballet by the Leipzig Opera in Germany. Choreography and music created using artificial intelligence. The set and costumes are inspired by AI too. This is the first ever collaboration between AI and humans, but they're not alone in this dance. Others are also incorporating AI into art and culture. Take for example, Mere Mortals. This stunning backdrop was not crafted by human hands, but it was done with AI. I saw their season opening and those hypnotic arm twisty visuals were a little bit freaky, but it kind of went with the vibe of the story of Pandora's myth. I'll tell you more about the Pandora's myth later, but just imagine the days when the sets were hand-painted masterpieces, not digital downloads. And in a way, we can say that technology and AI took away the jobs of the set creators. And it's not just ballet. AI is now scripting, composing music, and creating all kinds of breakthrough special effects in the movie industry. And think about the recent Hollywood strikes. Writers and actors were demanding their fair share of the streaming boom and higher wages. These strikes brought production to a halt, costing billions of dollars. While some agreements were reached on wages, the crucial issue of streaming revenue is still somewhat unresolved. Think about the magic of special effects and how that evolved over the years. Back in the early Star Wars movies, that's back in the 70s, right? Chewbacca was brought to life through human actors in costumes. In 2001, Golem in Lord of the Rings was a really turning point in the industry using special effects based on human movements, but done all through computer graphics. So the difference today is that AI can generate these magical creatures even without the need of physical actors. So imagine a future where AI not only creates computer-generated dragons and special creatures, but also generate human-looking actors themselves. Now, AI has the potential to take center stage in movies, especially in the future if audiences won't be able to tell the difference anyways. So does it really matter if movies are acted by humans or AI? Will traditional actors find themselves competing with AI-generated counterparts? We don't know that. These are just few of the puzzles that we're trying to solve in this ever-evolving dance between technology and creativity. I showed you a clip of the Fusion Ballet earlier, and the reason why I like this performance so much is because that it showed a new way of working with AI. First, the choreographers created the dance moves, then AI gave them a new twist based on their moves, and then finally, the human dancers brought it to life on stage. So we often think of AI in a very black and white way, either it takes over completely or we don't use it at all. But this ballet is a great example of how we can work together with AI to make performances better and more exciting in the future. And same with Mere Mortals, I really appreciated how different the AI-inspired ballet is compared to the more traditional type of ballet. Even though I am a big ballet fan and I do love the Swan Lake and the traditional backdrop, it is also exciting to see something different. And for software engineers, it could be about shrinking the gap that's the space between the perfect idea in your mind and what we can realistically build. You know, we have a lot of constraints like time and resources in software development. So when we have an idea of a grand product or a website or an app or whatever it is that you want to build, a lot of times I need to be realistic and shrink my ideas or prioritize the features because it's just what I can build with the tools or the time that I have. And that's something that I did a lot as an engineering manager at Facebook 
Facebook and WhatsApp. You know, there are so many features that we could potentially build, but we have a given amount of X number of engineers. What are the features that we can realistically build? But using AI, our capacity to build more things may increase drastically. I really liked how Tamara Rojo, who directed Near Mortals, she talked about the Pandora's box and AI, and to explore the big questions about AI, they chose the Pandora's myth as the main story. It goes way back to when humans stole fire from the gods. Zeus, the big boss god, got really upset and made a woman named Pandora. He gave her a box telling her never to open it. But of course she did open it and out came all the bad stuff like sickness, sorrow, poverty, greed, and more, causing trouble for humans forever. But with it, she also let out hope. The moral of the story is that even when things get tough, hope helps people keep going for a better future. This also reminded me of talking to a friend who is also a software engineer. He once said that medicine seems like magic to him. It's like potions and stuff. And I felt like people who aren't into tech might see our work as programmers in the same way. Doctors probably understand medicine and don't think medicine is like magic, right? And even magic performances themselves are more about managing perceptions and practicing a lot when you really get to know it. And there's not really anything magical about the magic performances. So what I'm trying to say is that in our future, it's important to understand and learn technology. If we don't get how AI works, it will seem like a mysterious black box, just like the Pandora's box that's here to really threaten us. But the more we understand, the less mysterious AI becomes and we can get more creative about how we can incorporate AI in our lives to create more good. Now, if you want to learn more about the top five jobs that are going away in the future and the top five most in-demand jobs, watch this video. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should be watching this one next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.